All right, folks. Now, this vehicle has an oscillating turret design that looks like an upscale Char Future Project 4 with an AMX M4-esque of a hull design that comes with hydropneumatic suspension. A new gun barrel feature called Cooling. You get better accuracy at the cost of DPM. And a teal color base paint. It is an obvious Japanese vehicle. It is so much French that it's not even kidding. How is it Japanese? Alright, fine. Type 63, premium tier 8 Japanese heavy tank for the second heavy tank line coming holiday ops or so. But no super heavies yet at tier 8 for the Japanese. Oh well, it's been like what, 7 years? 6 years? So all these vehicles have a gun barrel cooling feature. You get better accuracy at the cost of DPM, but the Blitz version of the Type 71 doesn't have it. So is it made up? Is it legitimate? Who the hell knows, but that's not how thermal sleeves work, I presume. I mean, you don't have that much consistency of spreading the heat or something, but it's supposed to cool the gun barrel. Alright, fine, whatever. <laughs> a little bit more jacketed version on the tier 9, the Leopard 1-esque of a heavy tank. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> there are so many versions of Leopard 1s in the game. Holy crap. And the STA with a Russian-esque of a hull design that looks like a 257 or so. Holy crap, but all with the cooling of the gun barrel. Better accuracy. So they'll probably showcase a little bit better and explain it a little bit better later on, but get better accuracy at the cost of DPM. So this vehicle doesn't really look like a Japanese one. No, not really. <laughs> Oscillating turret. Gun elevation is horrible, but helping out with the tracks, you can get like 9 degrees of gun elevation. 14 for gun depression, which is not half bad, but this thing has like medium tank armor though. It's not like a heavy tank. Only 80 at the hull front, and 170-ish for the turret sides, so more like a medium? Question mark? You can shoot through the gun? Holy crap. Is this actual armor? What if you miss? Like, went straight under the barrel. <laughs> that would suck. If you auto-aim and just go right through the gun. Alright. That would be funny. So we'll have to see the actual armor for vehicles like heavy tanks or tank destroyers that feature armor. Otherwise, how the hell can we judge these vehicles, right? I mean, it's all hauled down and hilly terrain vehicles. That's a one-trick pony. Now it comes with better accuracy. Okay. <laughs> Not a bad looking vehicle, but you wouldn't say this thing as a Japanese vehicle. It's not a Japanese vehicle. Not even close. It looks French. Really like a French vehicle. Alright. Coils for the cooling. Looks like it's made out of copper. Looks like it's liquid cooled. I guess with the heating coils, but... Okay. I don't know how, it's, how consistent is it, like is it ubiquitous with a thermal sleeve to prevent thermal expansion on your gun barrel from like the weather, but... Okay, you can find it on German vehicles, you can find it on the British vehicles, like with the Centurion or with the Leopard 1 skin, but... It's preventing from like the sun or the winds from thermal expansion of your gun barrel, warping it, but... You're actively cooling the gun barrel and promoting thermal expansion so okay legitimacy is out the window i have no idea <laughs> so japanese surprisingly it's it's supposed to be french all right super test stats it's supposed to be a 120 or 100 at five or at least so it's like with the the alpha is the same as the renegade or so, but that's a 120 or 105. Never mind, it's a 105. Penetration is like the Renegade. Gold shell is actually not half bad. It's high explosive in the tank. And if you have about 300 millimeters of pen for a premium tank with that gold shell, that's a sweet spot. Usually they have about 250 or so. Shell velocity is also not half bad. High explosive is high explosive, but reload time is all right. 10.5 seconds. So it's about. 9.3 with a rammer and better crew 
aim time is a little bit long, but it's all right. Accuracy, I think, is with the cooling, 0.28, which is pretty good. But that's not always the case. We'll see with the actual garage screenshot. 10 degrees of under pressure, standard. 5 elevation. Elevation sucks, but the hydropneumatic suspension will help out by 4 degrees. So 14 degrees to 9 degrees. Gun depression is pretty good with this thing. 50 rounds, no problem there. Only a problem I see is lack of a loader. It's a radio operator spot. So training, intuition, or safe stowage is a problem for the commander. So usually the skill or the, the duty goes to the commander at that point. 35 kilometers per hour top speed. It's all right. It's not the fastest. Horsepower per turn ratio is not half bad, 15.4. Hull traverse, turn traverse, more like a smaller heavy tank or fatter medium tank, but not the craziest. Still not a super heavy, so that's good. Weighs about 52 tons. Health is average-ish, a little bit below average. Average is about 1,500 or so. 80 at the hull front, 55 at the hull sides, 175 at the turret front. So, I mean, it might be slope for the turret front, but ooh, 80 for the hull front is like a medium tank. It's like a medium tank that weighs like 52 tons. View range, average, radio, standard. It's like a medium tank, a like big medium tank, but yeah, it's nowhere near the same play style as the Type 4 or Type 5 heavy tanks. It's not even close. Alright, in-game garage, screenshot, crew of four, commander is the loader, so obviously a little bit difficult for safe stowage or intuition, where the operator is okay-ish, I mean, you have situational awareness now, but, mm. Alright, 2,100-ish DPM, so without cooling of the gun barrel, it's 0.36 accuracy, which is alright. But with the cooling, it's 0.27. So, pretty accurate, but I think there's too reload time if you're doing so. So if you want to cool the gun, it's 13.5 seconds. Normally, it's 10.5 seconds to reload the gun, but does that add up together or just separately? So you have to wait like 23 seconds for the gun barrel to cool. I don't think so. I think you just have to wait like 4 additional seconds. For the gun barrel to cool but that will cut down your dpm right presumably but base pin is all right base accuracy is also decent enough same goes with the gold shell so do you really need the super accuracy i mean the super accuracy might be beneficial in something like front lines when we don't have corridor maps we have open field maps if the shoot at targets super far away that might be useful but for normal pub matches random pub not really need that accuracy, in my opinion, but whatever. Armor is garbage, for the hull at least. So we have to see the actual armor. You might troll a few shots by going through underneath the gun. But that's a whole different can of worms. Horsepower per time ratio is alright. Top speed is okay enough, but it's more like a fat medium tank at this point. Camo, fat medium tank-ish. Light, heavy, view range average. Radio standard. Versatile. Heavy tank. Nameless. Oh, that's the Valkyra Chronicles for only the Chinese server or... Yeah, only the Chinese or Asian server, they have it. Unfortunate. <laughs> they actually have a tier 8 premium heavy tank, but it's not available to everybody. Anime. Alright, vehicle looks decent enough, but I don't know how the gun barrel cooling will play a large role into the actual fighting of this stuff, but... Eh, 50 rounds is not bad, shell velocity is alright, yada yada. Only thing I'm worried about is the gun elevation, but normally you don't see that problem. Unless you're playing on something like a Westfield map, and you have to shoot from a downward slope position upwards. So that might be a problem, but usually you don't have that much problem, so stay all the way on top of the hill for gun depression without using the gun elevation, but mm, weird. So module info, 
parameters dual accuracy cooling delay, fourteen seconds. I mean, I think when you're firing the gun, that also accounts into the actual reload and the cooling. So while you're while you're reloading, you're also cooling the gun, right? Otherwise, you have to wait twenty four seconds for the gun barrel to cool. That's stupid. No. <laughs> That's not worth the DPM at. That's not worth the accuracy at that point. No, not even close. It is a premium. Has a new feature or new icon for the gun, so it comes with the new icon thing. But dual info, dual accuracy gun label. All right, that's what they call it. Okay. <laughs> so obviously rammer for this thing, unless they don't want you to have a rammer on this thing. I mean, rammer has nothing to do with the gun barrel, so I presume rammer is a thing <laughs> on this thing. Vertical stabilizer for shooting while moving, especially whack-a-mole poking the hill with your 14 degrees gun depression. Vertical stabilizer might be important, and possibly turbocharger or vents in this situation, but it's like with any other versatile heavy tank at tier 8. So let's see, versatile, they have the same field mods, or all the versatiles have the same modification at tier 8. So nothing to really work about. T32 is versatile. Alright. So, better track health or better terrain resistance. I would say terrain resistance, uh, terrain resistance at the cost of your garbage armor. You don't have armor, so you don't need to get your hits in. Don't take shots, so better terrain resistance. Accuracy or aim time. Now, you already have the good, supposedly, cooling accuracy, so might want to have better aim time. 2.4 is kind of long. A little bit kind of long for a 105? 105. So it's like the Renegade, but in terms of penetration and Alpha, the Gochos is, is a lot better than the Renegade. <laughs> but, mm, yeah, you want to have better aim time, in my opinion. You already have the cooling aspects. Go with better aim time. And better view range or stun duration negation. Don't get hit. It's more of a medium tank, so better view range, obviously. Just stay behind rocks or cover, but just don't get hit from artillery. How the hell do I rate this thing? Holy crap, it's so difficult. It's like a medium tank-ish of a design, but the turret could be useful, like a mill. If you play it well, it is 80 at the hull front. Sloping is not half bad, but not that great. So it might be like about 170-ish, 150-ish millimeters effective. It's not as good as a sloping on a, say, BZ-58. Even though that thing doesn't have that much armor, it has a sloping. So, where the hell is it, BZ-58? Also the tier 9 version as well, but... Yeah, this thing has only 70. It is well sloped, but it's only 70. So, artillery shell still hurts. Don't get hit by artillery. Don't expose yourself. Play this thing like a medium tank. I would say... Uh, the gold shell's good. DPM's good. Accuracy is baseline good enough. It has the gun depression. I would say 6 out of 10. Especially for the gold shell. You'll have no problem with the gold shell. The downside to it is it has no armor. You play this thing like a fat medium tank. It's a support heavy. Unless you could play it like a mill. Sometimes bouncing with the turret, but don't rely on the hull armor, right? A mill is a support heavy tank. So play it like this thing. It's only 100 millimeter at the hull front. Sloping looks about the same too. Holy crap. So yeah, you play it like this thing. Uh, I would say 6 out of 10. Unproven. I have to see the actual armor model as well as the gun performance with the cooling stuff. But for now, 6 out of 10. Maybe 6 point... Nah, 6 out of 10. I was thinking 6.5 because of the gold shell. Not really. So there you go, folks. The Type 63. It's surprisingly Japanese, not French. Also, if you search up Type 63, you get a PT-76 with a Type 62 turret for the Chinese. So, weird hybrid. <laughs> PT-76 with a Type 62's turret? Looks like that, but... Ugh. Well, as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Good luck with your polls or your number crunching for the Kampfpanzer 07PE coming right up. But we'll cover all the Japanese heavy tanks when they come out. 
as well as the British medium tanks, wheel mediums, coming soon. Already did, mostly, but I'll do a review coming soon. But as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> Ramewa,